Well, well, well. It's time for our Sunday conversation here on Match Day 15. With me, our former Bundesliga goalkeeper, Richard Gultz, and our very own Alex Fritsch. Uh, Richie, I want to start with you. You've played in some snow games before. You probably know how difficult these conditions make it for players. Do you have any memories of, of strange things happening? Yes, of course I have. Um, we played the cup uh, match in uh, Stuttgart der Kickers mm -hmm. when I was in Freiburg. Um, it was a fourth league team and we were playing not on snow. It was only ice <laughs> and it was normally impossible to play there. But uh, the referee said we have to play and we did it, but we didn't find uh, the, the right setup and that's why we lost. Mm. You know, Cologne, they can't blame this all on the snow and ice. I mean, they did take a 3-0 lead, they gave it up. Um, this, at this point, this is a historically bad team. They are worse than Tasmania Berlin in 1965 was at this point. Is this the worst Bundesliga team you guys have ever seen? Well, I would say it's not the worst team, but um, as you said, it's the team with the worst record. Uh, so um, it would be a humiliation for Tasmania Berlin to compare them to Cologne by now. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's speaking volumes. All right, we're going to have to leave this uh, for one side because we do have some interesting news uh, pertaining to Cologne. Peter Stoger, of course, the former coach of the Billy Goats, scarcely had time to return his company car after getting fired in Cologne last weekend. He got a call from Borussia Dortmund on Saturday night asking if he'd like to take over for Peter Bosch. And, and believe me, I think he said yes to that offer in a hurry. The Austrian coach is under contract at Dortmund through to the end of the season. So, the coach who went 14 matches without a win at Cologne gets hired to take over for a coach who went eight matches without a win at Dortmund. Richard, does this seem like a good idea to you? Well, when I heard this message, message today, I need some minutes uh, to think about, but uh, I think it would be a, a good idea because... Um, Dortmund played the first uh, matches in this uh, season without defense. Mm, you and, could say that. <laughs> um, and if you look at uh, Köln, the last four years, um, they always were well organized. And, uh, um, and this is uh, the key to, to win the matches. And um, I'm sure they will play better if, it's, uh, or if it is uh, good enough. To, to qualify for Europe, we will see, but uh, I think it's a good idea because uh, Stöger gets the opportunity mm -hmm. um, to, to, uh, to stay longer than uh, six months and yeah. Yeah, maybe he's coached in the next season. We shall see. Yeah, I mean, maybe if you just shave a goal off of all these Dortmund performances, they might have won a few more games. Uh, Alex, this, hmm, you were talking to me before the broadcast, so we might as well bring it up. The, the, the problems at Dortmund might go a bit deeper than just their coaches. Yeah, at least I think so. You know, Peter Stöger must have thought they've, they are kidding him when they, when they give him the call <laughs> to take over Dortmund. But I think um, uh, Dortmund should consider their management rather their coaches. Mm -hmm. um, they have now hired their fourth coach in four years. This is definitely not the consistency you are expecting from a top team. And I think that um, really Dortmund's management um, uh, has uh, to be taken into account as well. And uh, yeah, um, they should consider some changes there as well. Mm -hmm. Michael Zorc and Aki Watzka, Alex is coming for you. All right, our Sunday conversation continues here on Match Day 15. I'm here with former Bundesliga goalkeeper Richard Goltz and our own Alex Fritsch. Uh, you know, one topic we haven't touched on, guys, maybe it's because they didn't play today, they played yesterday, but uh, they are one of the biggest stories in the Bundesliga. Always, Bayern Munich. They are now guaranteed to go into the winter break on top of the league for what feels like the umpteenth time. They've won the last five titles. They are, what, eight points clear at the top of the league. It looks like a sixth title is within their grasp. Is their dominance starting to hurt the Bundesliga, Alex? I think yes. Um, well, of course, you cannot criticize a team because it plays too too well, yeah? Mm -hmm. But um, uh, if you have a look at Europe's other top leagues, in Spain, in Italy, uh, especially in England, um, you have two until 
up to five teams that seriously each and every year can compete uh, for the championship. Uh, the only league in Europe where you have a dominant team uh, as Bayern is France with uh, Paris. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's not only hurting the competition in the Bundesliga, we had bad results in Europe for the Bundesliga clubs all over the plane. Um, <clears throat> but it's also a bad for Bayern. I think in the seasons they had to compete the most in the Bundesliga, they also performed mm. uh, the best in Europe. And the, the easier it was in the Bundesliga for them, uh, the worse somehow it went uh, at the European level. Yeah, and this is really a somewhat new situation for the Bundesliga. I mean, I want to make this distinction clear that, you know, in your playing days, which run from, you know, the late 80s until the mid 2000s, you know, Bayern were a very good team. They won plenty of titles, but they weren't a super team. They didn't just sort of, you know, smack the rest of the league around like they did in the last five years. Uh, how have they gotten to that next level? I mean, were you afraid of Bayern? No, we are not afraid or we weren't afraid, but um, I think they always had a good team and most of the time they were successful. But uh, because of that, um, they build up this uh, special mentality, this uh, Mia San Mia. And uh, everyone in the club is uh, full of uh, self-confidence and, and shows it mm -hmm. uh, to the others. And uh, I think this is uh, the reason why um, they are so successful. And they, most of the time they made the right decisions. Mm -hmm. um, other clubs had some, some periods, some good periods, but over the last mm -hmm. 20 or 30 years, they always made the right things. Yeah, you can't blame a club for making the right choices. That is full time for the Bundesliga.